Next comes atmosphere. Atmosphere means earth is surrounded by a layer of gas all over it, right? This layer of gas air is known as the atmosphere. And this blanket of air, it is an important and integral aspect of the planet because air, this air protects us from the harmful of the sun's rays and also gives us the air to breathe. And atmosphere extends up to a height of 1600 kilometers. And this atmosphere is divided into five layers on the basis of caution, temperature and other properties. And what are the layers, names, trophosphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. Now let's study in detail about these five layers of the atmosphere. So in this image we see exosphere, thermosphere, mesosphere, stratosphere and troposphere. Troposphere, this is the closest layer to the earth and 90% of the earth's air is found in this layer and this layer is made up of water vapor and dust particles and this is also the most important layer of the earth. So This is the image of the troposphere. Next is stratosphere. Stratosphere is the second major layer of the earth's atmosphere and this is located above the troposphere and below the mesosphere. And this ranges at an altitude of 17 to 50 kilometers above the sea level. And this stratosphere contains the ozone layer. That is, the, that is why temperature is always higher in this zone. So this is the image of the stratosphere layer. Next is mesosphere. Mesosphere is also a layer above the earth's atmosphere. And it is directly above the stratosphere and below the thermosphere. And the height of mesosphere is 50 to 85 kilometers above the land surface of the earth. And as the altitude increases, temperature decreases. So, in the mesosphere, the temperature is always colder. Next is ionosphere. Ionosphere is a region above the earth's atmosphere only. And it is at a height of 60 kilometers to 1000 kilometers altitude. And this includes the thermosphere and parts of the mesosphere and also exosphere. And temperature is always colder over here. Next is exosphere. Exosphere is the uppermost region of the Earth's atmosphere. And it fades into the vacuum of space. That means it goes and mixes up with the space. It is so much high above the surface of the Earth. And the air here is extremely thin. In many ways, it is almost airless in the space, right? So, it is a very thin layer of air. So, this is about exosphere. Next is composition of atmosphere. Atmosphere is composed mainly of nitrogen and oxygen, which make about 99% of clean and dry air. Nitrogen is 78%, oxygen 21%, and gases like carbon dioxide, argon, others, they comprise 1% by volume. Oxygen is treated as the breath of life. Nitrogen helps in growth of the living organisms. Carbon dioxide, though present in miniature amount, it is important because it absorbs the heat radiated by the sun. It keeps the planet warm. It is also essential for the growth of the plants. Next layer is the biosphere. Biosphere is the narrow zone of contact between land, water and air. So all these three things are important because life exists because of these three things only. So life on earth is possible because it is at a correct distance from the sun and there is also availability of water for all the living organisms. That is why life on earth is being possible and the survival is a always continue. Survival of the organisms is the continue process, right? New organisms will be born, old will be dying. Life is continuous process. So this life is possible because earth is an correct distance, appropriate distance from the sun and there is availability of good amount of water on the earth. So, in this biosphere, living things form communities based on their physical surroundings. And biosphere is made up of various things such as deserts, grasslands and forests. So, this is the total biosphere which comprises of atmosphere, ecosphere, hydrosphere and lithosphere.